Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang Triangle Angle Bisector Theorem or TABT. Triangle Angle Bisector Theorem or TABT states that if a segment bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into segments proportional to the other two sides. Para mas madali mong maintindihan, Magbibigay ako ng illustration. So, given triangle ABC, so if BD bisects angle B, then it divides AC into two segments AD and DC. And these two segments are proportional to the other two sides of the triangle, which are AB and AC. So, therefore, AD, ito yon over DC is equal to AB, ito iyon, over BC. Kapag inuna mong isulat yung AD, make sure na ang uunahin mong isulat sa right side ay yung side na malapit sa kanya. Okay? So, yung, kung inuna mo yung AD, dito sa kabilang side, uunahin mo yung AB. Ngayon, kung inuna mong isulat yung DC sa numerator, ang kapartner niya dun sa right side of the equation ay itong BC. So, pwede siyang isulat as DC over AD is equal to BC over AB. Again, itong AD, ang kapartner niya dito sa right side ay yung AB. Ito yung side na mas malapit sa kanya. So, itong DC, ang mas malapit sa kanyang side ay itong BC. So, kung nasa denominator siya, dapat ang katambal niya sa right side is nasa denominator din yung side na mas malapit sa kanya. Next, if AE bisects angle A, then... We have BE, ito yon over EC is equal to AB over AC. So, inuna nating isulat dito yung BE. So, ang una rin nating isusulat sa right side ay itong side na mas malapit sa kanya, which is AB. So, kung mapapansin mo, nasa numerator yung BE. And then, dito naman sa side, nasa numerator yung AB. Dito naman sa EC, nasa denominator siya, ang mas malapit sa kanyang side ay itong AC. Next, if CF bisects angle C, then AF over FB is equal to, ang mas malapit sa AF ay itong AC, at dahil ang AF ay nasa numerator, so nasa numerator din yung AC. And then, over FB, ang mas malapit sa kanya ay itong BC. So, nasa denominator ang FB, nasa denominator din yung side na mas malapit sa kanya. So, ganyan tayo gumawa ng proportional segments based on triangle angle bisector theorem. Let's have an example. In triangle XYZ, OX bisects angle X. If XZ is equal to 12, XY is equal to 14, and YZ is equal to 16, Find the length of OY and OZ. First, we need to illustrate the figure. So, meron tayo rito ang triangle X, Y, Z. And then, OX bisects angle X. So, ito yung OX na ibisect niya yung angle X. And then, ilagay mo yung measurement natin. So, XZ is equal to 12. Ito yung side na ito. We have 12. XY is equal to 14. Ito yung side na yun. And then, yz is equal to 16. Ito naman yung yz. And then, we are going to find the length of oy and oz. Since wala tayong measure ng oy at oz, let's represent it as variables. So, let oy is equal to x. At dahil ang kabuuan na yz is 16, so ang oz natin is 16 minus x. Siyempre, minus natin yung length ng oy sa kabuuan para makuha yung oz. And then, we have the proportional segments, OY over OZ, ito yung segments na hinati, is equal to XY over XZ. Since nasa numerator yung OY, kailangan nasa numerator din yung side na mas malapit sa kanya, which is XY. By substituting the lengths, we have X, ito yung OY, over 16 minus X, ito yung OZ, is equal to 14, ito yung XY, over 12, ito naman yung xz. And then, we have x over 16 minus x is equal to, the lowest term natin yung 14 over 12, pwede natin silang i-divide sa 2. This will become 7 over 16. And then, i-cross-multiply natin sila, we have 6 times x is 6x, 
is equal to 7 times the quantity 16 minus x. And then we have 6x is equal to 7 times 16 is equal to 112. 7 times negative x is equal to negative 7x. So we have 6x plus 7x, nilipat natin yung negative 7x, is equal to 112. So from 6x plus 7x is equal to 112, pwede nating i-plus ito, that is 13x is equal to 112. And divide both sides by 13, then x is equal to 112 over 13. So this is already in lowest term, kaya ang length ng OY natin is 112 over 13. Next, we have 16 minus x, ito yung length naman ng OZ, is equal to 16 minus x, which is 112 over 13. So para makuha natin yung 16 minus x, which is the length of OZ, isusubtract lang natin itong dalawang ito. So paano natin gagawin? So 13, ita times mo siya sa 16, i-minus mo sa 112, ang sagot natin dyan is 96, and then just copy the denominator. Therefore, the length of OZ is equal to 96 over 13, ang OY naman is 112 over 13. Let's have the next example. In triangle RST, SV is an angle bisector of angle RST. If RS equals 10, ST is equal to 14, RV is equal to x plus 2, and VT is equal to 2x plus 1, find x and the length of RV and VT. So first, we have, we have to illustrate the figure. So we have triangle RST and SB is an angle bisector of angle RST. So we have here SB na i-bisect niya itong angle RST. After that, kailangan nating ilagay yung measurement. So RS is equal to 10, ST is equal to 14, RV is equal to x plus 2, and VT is equal to 2x plus 1. Pagkatapos, kailangan natin gumawa ng proportion based on triangle angle bisector theorem. So, we have here RV over VT, ito yung dinivide na segment, is equal to, dahil inuna natin yung RV, so dapat yung kalapit niya na side ang isusulat din natin sa numerator sa kabilang side. So, ito yung RS and then over ST. So, ilagay natin yung mga given na measurement. So, by substitution, X plus 2 over 2x plus 1, ito yung RV at saka VT is equal to 10 over 14. Ito yung RS at saka ST. Then, itong 10 over 14, pwede nating i-lowest term. So, divide numerator and denominator by 2, we have 5 over 7. And then, kopyahin lang itong part na to. At saka tayo magko-cross multiply. So, we have 7 times x plus 2 is equal to 5 times 2x plus 1. And then, by distributive property, we have 7x plus 14 is equal to 10x plus 5. So, we have 7x minus 10x is equal to 5 minus 14. Yung 10x nilipat dito sa left side, yung 14 nilipat dun sa right side. So, from 7x minus 10x is equal to 5 minus 14, we will have negative 3x is equal to negative 9. Ito yung result nung 7x minus 10x, we have negative 3x, at itong 5 minus 14 is equal to negative 9. And then, divide both sides by negative 3, we will have x is equal to 3. So, ito na agad ang value ng x natin. And then, to find the measure of RV and VT, is a substitute lang natin yung x dun sa x plus 2, which is RV, and VT, which is 2x plus 1. So, x plus 2 is equal to 3, the value of x plus 2 is equal to 5. That is the measure of RV. And then for VT, we have 2 times 3, the value of x plus 1 is equal to 7. So, 7 is the measure of VT. Next, example number 3. The sides of a triangle are 10, 12, and 14. If the angle opposite the longest side is bisected, and divides the longest side into two segments, find the length of these segments. Let us illustrate first the figure. So, meron tayong triangle of sides 10, 12, and 14. Sabi rito, the angle opposite the longest side is bisected. So, itong angle na opposite sa longest side, okay, so ito yung 14, the longest side, yung angle na opposite sa kanya is ito na i-bisect siya ng angle bisector, and then the longest side is bisected into two segments. Let's say these are x 
and 14 minus x. So, saan natin nakuha yung x? This is just the representation. And since ang kabuuan na segment na ito is 14, then we will have 14 minus x as the length of the other segment. And then, we will have the proportion x over 14 minus x, ito yung segments of the third side, is equal to the ratio of the other two sides, we have 10 over 12. So, kailangan nating ilagay sa numerator ang 10 dahil ito yung mas malapit sa x na inuna nating isulat dito. Okay? Next, we have to change 10 over 12 to lowest term by dividing it by 2. So, this will become 5 over 6. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then, we cross multiply. 6 times x is equal to 5 times 14 minus x. So, 6x is equal to 5 times 14 is 70 minus 5 times negative x is negative 5x. And then, ilipat natin negative 5x. So, magiging 6x plus 5x is equal to 70. So, from 6x plus 5x is equal to 70, magiging 11x is equal to 70 siya. Dahil 6x plus 5x is equal to 11x. And then, divide both sides by 11, we have x is equal to 70 over 11. Ito, ito na agad ang length ng unang segment. So, para makuha natin ang length ng other segment, we have to subtract it from 14. So, 14 minus x is equal to 14 minus 70 over 11. This is the value of x. So, para makuha natin siya, 11 times 14, i-minus mo yung 70, then we have 84 over 11. So, we have the length of the two segments of the longest side, which are 70 over 11 and 84 over 11. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Goodbye.